This morning, we are leaving Las Vegas back home to Canada for Saturday's wedding. And today on the course, we're going to be talking about family photos. For me, the family photo session usually happens right after the ceremony. Even if we do a first look earlier in the day, it's nice to have a bit of a reveal for the family during the ceremony, even if the couple have already seen each other before. My family photo session usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes all in. One thing that really helps me out a lot is by asking my couples for the list of the family photos that they want before the wedding. I ask them to send it to me, but also print a copy for somebody who knows who everyone is. I would say overall, this saves me about 15, 20 minutes of actual time doing the family photos. And this way, I'm also 100% for sure the family photos that they want. Uh, and also, if an aunt or a mom steps in and tries to start arranging their own family sessions, you can politely tell them that you need to get the list done first, and it doesn't seem that rude. Asking for the list before also makes you aware of any potential family issues as well. Um, I find having that list usually solves most of those potential issues, so you're not trying to accidentally group up people that just don't get along together due to some sort of family dynamics. For where to actually do the session, I love the shade outdoors. Find the biggest shade that you possibly can. And if you can't find shade, just get their faces in the shade as best possible, even if that means having the sun at the top of their heads. For smaller groups, I have no problems doing them inside, but good inside space with a single lighting source is sometimes hard to find for larger groups. For lenses, I am typically using my 7200 for maximum flexibility, but I don't believe that there is a 100% right lens to use for this. If you can use a a 50 or a 35 or an 85, whatever you're the most comfortable with. If you're outside, you usually have the space to move around. For actually setting up the groups, I tell the couple that I'm just going to put them in the middle and I'm gonna put people around them for the next 10 minutes so they don't have to move. And then we just start with whoever is the most present as far as the groupings go. For the actual family groupings, I'm pretty easy. I make sure both sides have balanced numbers that everyone is angled in towards the couple and really close together. Also take off any sunglasses or glasses that are creating strange reflections. If there's a guest trying to take family photos as well, I ask them to come as close to me as possible and actually shoot over my shoulder. This way, everyone at least is looking in my direction. I take a lot of frames here because it's way easier just to move to the next one with everyone's eyes open rather than photoshopping heads from person to person. If the group is too big, I layer them in the back. If everyone is a little bit taller, they get pushed back. If you have elevation or rocks or elements to work with, they can come in really handy here. If I'm shooting a straight group line, I'm usually shooting at f2.8 at 70 millimeters, a second layer f4 and a third layer f5.6. As with all of my photography, I try to make this process as fast and efficient as possible while also delivering top quality. In this case, everyone wants to get to cocktail hour, so usually that is good motivation to get these done quickly. Thanks for watching today, and I will see you tomorrow on the course.